Hi there. Um, we just returned on chapter six, lecture number seventeen. Uh, we, because I pressed Alt H, you can see this nettle uh, leaves. We can delete it, and we're focusing back on our little small plant. I like to combine everything. So Control J, and it's now called cylinder. And let's make small and score plant. And the material is small plant as well. Um, duplicate it and make a variation. And the first thing I would like to do is focusing on this area. And I want to make that smaller. Try to shrimp it a little bit. All right and move these a little bit more to the right and shrink it a bit more and you can see these leaves looks not really good all right need some time turn off proportional editing i like to just select the leaves and we make a variation and that one as well and rotate it and you keep doing this for most of the other ones and the next one is uh, the third variation is yours <laughs> so you can try it out so this one I just tick it right there and I have to remove these two edge lines vertices all right and let's do some binding. Yeah. And rotate it. And again. So I think we are set now. And the root may be a little bit different. Solid. All right, we are going to duplicate that one again. So, quick exercise for you: make a variation for that one. Um, you can make a smaller one. I think I'm going for a smaller one, but uh, it's up to you. So, see you in a second. And welcome back. So, this is my small plant variation, um, and I had to move the middle part a little bit, and I can see some errors. Let's fix that. That should be good. Let's check this for the other ones as well. Look at that. Not good at all. Bang. And the main roots should have the same problem. 3D space. There we are. Alright, so we fixed it. So be aware to have the, the origin on the tips. And for that small one as well, three variations. And for the side, then the second one. And I like to bend these a little bit. Just remember, you don't want to have a straight root. All right. I love it. Let's focus on the material. We go to shading. There is no material applied, only a texture. Material preview. We just go for the render. That's where Eevee is so powerful. And duplicate it. And we start with the roughness. And non color data. And the color into the roughness. And duplicate it again. Add vector bump and we want to have the bump image and I'm going to very very small heat value of 0 0.07 non color data and putting it in the normal so we have the slightly bump effect but still specularity yeah and translucency and 
add shader, mix shader, and add shader translucent. We're putting this into the bottom, and let's put the main color of the plant because it's thick leaves. We get away with this. 0.2 value. And let's select the sunlight. Yeah. Beautiful. So check, check, double check. Uh, you can play with the specularity. And, but this standard value of 0.5 is something I uh, have no problems with. Uh, so we finished this one. So it's a very quick node setup, translucency, roughness, and bump effect. Well, that will uh, do the job. So what is left is go to the solid view and open all the other ones and put these somewhere you like to see them. And shouldn't be bigger than a nettle. Control A, rotation and scale. Lovely. And it has its own collection, small plant. Great. So in the next lecture, uh, we focus on dry grass. So I like to make another version because we now have this good looking grass uh, model, but we make another model for dry grass. Uh, and that's important for your nature scene. All right, see you there. Bye bye.